When you think about money in the bank, or at least when I think about money in the bank, I think about a pretty cool match concept that incorporates ladders in extreme match style and something significant at stake. You get those kind of elements there, it typically can make for a good match. It's really, really hard to have a bad Money in the Bank ladder match. It's happened, but it should be, in theory, really, really hard. But when you talk about the WWE today and how often things are just really one gigantic waste of time, and when you think about, in general, just how so much of it and what they do has no purpose and no meaning, at least you could say, like with the Royal Rumble, the Money in the Bank match means something. It has significance. There's a purpose for why it happens. The story itself breaks down fundamentally to whoever wins gets a shot at a future world title. That's the story. And you can focus on the characters and the different guys and how they get there and splitting guys off and doing things after that match. But fundamentally, it's about these number of guys or gals get the opportunity to fight in order to see who can get that contract for a future world title shot. Pretty easy stuff here. And when you think about wrestling, you know, I've compared it before and we'll do it again, to how football fans focus and are fascinated by the NFL draft. Because we're always, no matter how good things are or how bad things are, we're always looking at the future and looking to the next wave of players, the rookies and the youth, and how that future is going to be served now and going forward. You know, sometimes focusing too much on the potential of the possibility of what could be instead of the reality that could already be positive that is staring you square in the face. There's something exciting and invigorating about every year you know guaranteed your team is going to get a bunch of new players. And there is. And you look at Money in the Bank, it is a way, a device, to focus on the future and potentially anoint somebody, male or female now, and say they could be that next person. They could be that one. They're somebody that we believe in. They're somebody that we can get behind. Now, to be fair, just because somebody wins the Royal Rumble or wins the Money in the Bank contract, it doesn't always mean that they should be successful when they get their title shot or their opportunity. No, because if every single person won the Royal Rumble, went on to win at WrestleMania, then it becomes pathetically predictable and nobody would care. If every single Money in the Bank winner ultimately cashed in successfully, it also would be pathetically predictable, and why would you care? And f honestly, you could say, well, if you have them win and then they don't follow through and win the title, that could ruin them bullshit. If you do it right, which WWE we're talking about here, but in theory, if you do it right, then you could do it and take somebody potentially to a whole different level than if you had just given them the championship that they may or may not have even been ready for. Which brings me all to Braun Strowman. I don't think anybody was surprised that he won the Money in the Bank. The writing was on the wall. It was clear for everybody to see. And frankly, for the WWE, it was the right decision. He's kind of that next man up. They focused on him a lot. They've given him a lot of attention. So it's only right that they would try to cement him as a top guy and validate him as a top guy. Because I think there are enough fans that have gotten behind him enough to view him as a top guy. So cool. It works on so many different levels. Especially if you're thinking long term. You know, Roman Reigns is your real top guy. You want people that could be viable opponents for him. Braun Strowman is believable as an opponent for Roman Reigns. Braun Strowman is a guy that fans might want to see fight Roman Reigns. And when they've done their program before, it was a feud of the year type of situation. Did a lot of cool stuff with them, frankly. So now Braun has the briefcase. And to me, when you look at Braun, he's different compared to a lot of the WWE roster. And he's different compared to a lot of the previous Money in the Bank winners. And as a result, the way he should be Money in the Bank as a 
contract holder, and the way he should cash in should be entirely different. We know so often that a lot of times it's the heels that win the money in the bank contract. Not every time, Greg, but a lot of the times it is. And we know ultimately that the vast, 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 vast majority of them are going to try and catch their opponent in a downtime, catch their opponent when they're beaten, beat up, hurt, and try to attempt to cash in successfully there. The contract kind of beholds itself to being more beneficial to a heel carrying it, especially with the way the WWE has presented and featured that Money in the Bank winner over the years. It's a slimy way to get a world title, so a slimy character should potentially have it. Based off of the way the company has presented it, it makes sense. But it doesn't make sense for a Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman in no way, shape, or form should be a slimy character at this point. In no way, shape, or form should he be trying to take a shortcut. Should he trying to be slimy about cashing in and getting his first world championship. If anything, because of the character, the way he's presented, what he's about, get these hands, and beating people's asses consistently, if anything, he should want to take the long version to the title with that Money in the Bank contract because he freaking can. For that character, the way he's presented, that's what makes sense. The only way for Braun Strowman to cash this in that really truly works, in my opinion, for the character and really makes sense is for him to call his shot. Maybe closely similar to RVD in 2006 and him cashing in. We call that kind of clean. But Braun Strowman saying, hey, I've got the money in the bank. Roman, you've got the universal title. Roman, I want the universal title. Roman, I've got this briefcase that gives me a shot at the universal title. So I'm going to take my shot at Hell in a Cell, Survivor Series, or whatever the hell. And he should be calling that out weeks ahead of time to give Roman time to think about it, to give Roman time to fret about it, to give Roman time to worry about it. Because the Braun Strowman character is such a badass that he doesn't need to take a shortcut, nor does he want to take a shortcut. He wants to take that title from Roman free and clear, beat the dude's ass, and really give him something to think about for the future. Now, when you think about how you're writing the character and how you write in the cash-in opportunity, what makes more sense? For Braun Strowman to come in when Roman's knocked out by somebody else, Lesnar, whoever the hell it is, and cash in there? Or for Braun Strowman to say, I don't give a shit, I'm calling my shot, I get the title shot at this pay-per-view, it's you and me, one-on-one, -on -one, no bullshit, no anything else, and I'm taking your title. And I dare you to stop me. That's a badass. That more closely mirrors the Braun Strowman character who has been presented as and who he is, should be and is supposed to be. But it's weird where the WWE, because again, WWE fail logic, hashtag WWE ruins everything. They sit there and have Braun Strowman talking out of one side of his mouth, talking about he's not going to go behind somebody's back. He knows the history of this. And Roman Brock doesn't matter. He wants him to do it, know that he's telling him face to face, that he'll be waiting there at SummerSlam ringside. Like, that was all types of weird. And we know probably why they did it to give the illusion that Braun could cash in there and the fans might not walk out and leave or totally crap on the match. Um, but he's sitting there telling you he's going to do it face-to-face, -face, telling you that he's not going to cash in like everybody else, and then you're presenting him in a way where he's acting like he's going to cash in like just everyone else. You did it the same next night on Raw. And before you had the Hounds of Justice, the Shield come out and skipty skipped and whoopty woo, and people got all types of excited about something that's not even nostalgic. It's not that hard. It really isn't. You've presented Braun as a guy that doesn't take shortcuts. You've presented Braun as a guy that you're supposed to really take seriously, a big time monster. Hence, you call it the monster in the bank contract when he's got it. What the hell is monstrous about him acting like basically every other Money in the Bank winner? The only solution, the only viable option here is for him to cash in clean, for him to call his shot.
to do it weeks ahead of time. And then when you get to that moment, he wins successfully. Now, you might say it seems awfully quick to have Roman finally overcome Brock at SummerSlam just to then sit there and immediately take the belt off of him. Look, it's not going to make much of a difference to the Roman character one way or another, and you can go back to Roman being the champ whenever the hell you want to. Right before the football season is the perfect time for a Braun Strowman to call his shot and say, hey, at the next pay-per-view, I'm coming for your ass, and you're going to get these hands, and I'm going to take that title from you. That's how it should be done. He should be cashing in clean, calling his shot ahead of time, and then cashing in successfully, and then later on down the road, you want to take it off of him? Do that. But it should be really, really hard to screw up how you have Braun Strowman cash in. And yet there is an eminent fear of doom and gloom on my hand that believes that the WWE is going to do just that with Braun Strowman. Because right now, they're talking out of both sides of their mouths with this character. He doesn't want to be like everybody else has done in history, pretty much. But yet he's acting like it. And that makes no damn sense. Have him cash in clean, call his shot. Not that hard, WWE.